and welcome to the very first episode of me playing with the glorious club that is Owens Bug Club. And um, we're going to kick things off and um, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to set up my career. We're going to click OB Odense uh, in Denmark. It's the town where I live in. And I'm just going to start by clearing all these out and add them in as we go. So I'm going to pick uh, Denmark. I'm going to pick Belgium, England, France, Holland, uh, Netherlands and English. Um, I'm going to pick Italy, Croatia. Norway, Portugal, um, Spain, Sweden, Germany, um, I'm also going to pick Iceland, I think. Uh, yeah, this is good. And now to the leaks, just the best Belgian tier and perhaps championship. Uh, yeah, first tier, first tier, first tier, first tier. Yeah, this is good. We still get a good uh, pace of the game, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's move on. Just going to get this load screen over and done. So we can set up the manager skill set. Patience, patience, patience. Almost there. Let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. So, this is me. Avatars, okay. Favorite team, OB, of course. I'm going to change um, this. Uh, this was the specs for my journeyman. I did for myself, private save. Um, I think I'm going to go for this and edit it after for my personal liking I'm going for I like to go for a bit of tactical knowledge and motivation is important um of course the attack and defense matters uh goalkeeper attributes i'm not that interested in adjustment uh adaptability not that important um player knowledge uh this is important and 
discipline is fairly important also. Uh, determination. Technical, mental. Um, just gonna go for five in this, thirteen in attack. Um, motivation, going to put it high. Discipline, a little bit higher also. I could adjust a bit. I think this is good. Gonna pick this. And here we go. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is make a safe and I'm also going to adjust uh, language settings for the benefit of you guys so here we go get sport checks charge at OB and we have some club vision uh, they want us to sign players ab under the age of 23 to the first team and work within wage budget uh, three year contracts for first team players they want top half just as in real life actually in real life they want a top six placement and they want quarter final in the cup uh, and work towards qualifying for euro cup so we can make some preseason preparations. I'm going to pick uh, tactical, and I'm going to um, starting with the tactic. I'm going to start with the ideal tactic that I want them to to play, uh, but not sure if they can do it yet. It's not not always. Um, basically, the the wing back tactics with the three in defense. Um, I'm going to pick the complete wing backs, and I want ball playing defenders to push up. And I want ball winning midfielder support. And I want advanced playmaker on attack. And this one can be whatever. I'm going to switch these two around. And I'm gonna make him a Mesela. And up front, I'm going to pick um, complete forward and pressing forward attack. No support. 
uh, attacking and with fairly wide direct uh, higher tempo run a defense um, play for set pieces pass into space important focus on play through middle with overlaps and I'm going counter press counter and distribute quickly short kicks and finally the defensive shape and line I hate conceding goals on uh, balls in behind the defense so I'm going for a fairly low defensive line and a bit more compact shape even though we want to press a fair amount um, defensive width yeah we want it wide okay so this is the ideal uh, formation and we're going to see how well they can adapt to that if they can't we'll make another one just in case and uh, until they get familiar with this one so this is this is the thing we want so let's have a look at our squad uh, I know for a fact that there are some transfers uh, we get Emmanuel uh, Sabi and um, he joins next summer and he's quite good uh, at least in real life he is um, yeah he scores a lot of goals uh, mainly striker or uh, winger uh, we'll see how he can adapt in our team uh, as we don't really play with wingers but if they're good enough they can become uh, wingbacks in the tactic so let's have a look at the team and we're going to go into uh, B team and uh, reports ability and potential so I always like to have a lot of uh, depth in the squad so I'm going to take these guys and put in the squad also just in case gonna have a look at the under 90s 19s 19s Daniel Abukir is going in the squad as well and now we can have a look so I'm not going to waste your time with all of the players at the moment we're just going to have a quick uh, overlook so um, it looks okay for now um, we have uh, Isam Jibali as one of the best players in the squad and uh, he's an advanced forward also complete forward and that's the role he's going to have in our squad um, we have uh, Jan Skelvik who's a Norwegian uh, back um, yeah he's on loan from LA Galaxy and if I, I'm not sure but I think he has a rather large uh, buyout clause where is it where is it optional for future fee so yeah 16 million Danish kroners that's a lot uh, and he's not that good uh, he's okay for our level but certainly not 16 million uh, Jeppe Tversko one of the key players in the squad uh, in real life also he's a defender and uh, he's very important for the way Obi plays in real life and he's going to be very important also Jakob Barrett wing back very important and also a very good player in the game Kasper Larsen is a new signing in real life and um, 
he came uh, in uh, January this year but as you can see he has been at Obey before and uh, he's one of our own and uh, very quite a favorite among the fans they were happy to see him return Ryan Johnson also uh, wing back uh, on the right hand side very good uh, Janus Strachmann he's the captain in the squad and he's very good good uh, work rate and aggression and he's very brave and uh, good teamwork so the ideal captain for a few more years until his physical abilities start to decline uh, let's just have a few more and uh, we're going to get on with it Sander Swenson uh, fairly young Norwegian talent uh, striker slash winger he can score in real life uh, promising we have uh, Aaron Elis Thrandason and uh, it says here he's a uh, winger I in real life I saw him more as a central midfielder um, and uh, haven't played with him before in this game so that's going to be very interesting Mart Lido striker kind of a target man it also says here, yeah, pressing forward, he can be used as also, that's going to be his role in our team. And last but not least, uh, Oliver Christensen is a goalkeeper, and uh, he's the young talent of the team, and um, in real life he, he had his breakthrough this season, and he started the season as our keeper, uh, as we as were our first team, first choice keeper, he went to FC Copenhagen, there was a gap and he stepped up and he has been quite decent in real life and he's also uh, capped at the under 21's team and uh, has done quite nice for himself. So, f okay stats, I guess, maybe they could be a bit better, I don't know, but it's good to see that he gets some recognition after all. So, <coughs> now we are going to, um, we're going to pick our team, so obviously uh, Christensen goes in goal, and um, let's see, Kasper Larsen, he's right for it, so he goes there, Jebe, I'll put him on the left hand side, and see here sort by position uh, we have Marco Lund and Alexander Yule in the defense I'm going to pick uh, Alexander Yule and Ryan Johnson going on the left back oh, I mean right back and um, where did he go yeah uh, Janus Dragman is definitely going in as ball winning midfielder and uh, Isam Jabali is going to be the complete forward and Mart Lida is going in as pressing forward uh, Jakob Barrett on the left wing back and this is also the now we get to the midfield and this is also one of the problems in, in real life where th with Obi uh, this guy, Jens Jakob Tomasen, is quite important, but he's quite injury prone in real life, so um, I don't know if the game reflects it. Oh, not that much. Three months, one time, but yeah, he gets a lot of small injuries, so he does. he's not in the team too often. Uh, unfortunately, he's quite good, and I think he's the preferred choice. And now we need to pick the Micellar role. Um, we have uh, Trolls Cleo, Moses Rupando, and uh, Elis Thranderson. I am going to pick. I think I'm going to go for uh, Aaron Elis. He's right footed. Um, that should be okay, I think. 
yeah so this is this is the lineup we're going to go with for starters and I'm just going to pick uh, left the rest of the team without restrictions did it mess it up for me yeah it, it did Good. oh it's because they're not available oh, okay I can I can forgive that okay so this is the team and uh, we're going to go into personal stuff and responsibilities um, I want I don't want to uh, I don't want friendly matches just going to give it to Henry Hansen, the assistant manager. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the team dynamics. So team cohesion is very poor. Uh, current players are some way short of our rating as a unit. Hopefully, we can fix that. The atmosphere is good, and the managerial support is good, of course. Uh, hierarchy, we got six players supporting. That's very good. Kasper Larsen, Alexander Sanderson, Mikkel Hyllegård, Hans Christian Bernard, and Tejtur Magnusson. And uh, Mikkel Hyllegård. <laughs> In real life, uh, they speak of him as being really quick, as we can see. He is really quick, but he's not much more than that. Determined, somewhat uh, aggressive, and just barely a decent finisher um 20 years old i don't think he's going to make it um yeah let's just say he's going to have a joker role in our team so now we're going to uh, accept uh, the vision for the club accept current vision and now we can get on with it um the first one is uh, friendly against ourselves. Oh, we have the code of conduct. I like like a bit of strict rules uh, for this one. Yeah, I can go with yeah. Two two. Send off. Those are going to be harsh. One week. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Miss training half week, half week. Multiple bookings, a uh, multiple booking ban. One day, uh, yeah, I guess. Good to put it up a bit. Yeah, this is good. Good. So, our first team is going to be against our own reserves. And uh, hopefully, we'll. <laughs> We'll win <laughs> against own reserves. That would be quite horrific if we didn't. Uh, just gonna make sure we have some of the important players in the team. Uh, introduce. I'm going to go calm. Uh, I want to take the opportunity to introduce myself to you as the new OB manager. On behalf of the other team, of the team, I would like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your management. Well, that's good. I am going to go passionate, and I strongly believe uh, there is enough ability in the squad for us to aim to finish in the top three this season. That's a bit ambitious. I'm going to go for top half because that's what the uh, board wants. And they agree, so that's very good. And we all friends for now. Code of conduct, they agree. Great response. Thank you for that. So let's move on. Introduction to training. No, thank you. Media. So yes, I'm very excited. Dreamt of this moment for years. Uh, Maybe people. Uh, the wage budget is simply too small. Um, well, psh. 
yeah, not helpful to the man more right now. Uh, I don't think age is important. Ambition uh, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, from close by, that's true. Does this squad have the necessary quality for you to achieve your targets? Yes, of course. Yes, I met the players. Um, the, pa the fans will play a massive, massive part, of course. So, first game. And we won rather easily. Uh, Jeppe Tresco with one goal, Sander Svens with two, even though he was on the bench. Don't know what went wrong there. Oh, it's because Tipali is still not available. I see. <coughs> Jakob Barrett and Jens Jakob Tomason. So, a uh, bunch of the important players scoring. That's, that's positive. Conceded one. But that's not too, too worrying at the moment. And <laughs> Aaron Ellis started out p picking up a small injury, but that's okay. Um, next match is uh, Duisburg in nine days. And that reminds me that we're going to go for... Uh, we're going to have a look at the schedule. It's quite small at the moment. So we're going to meet Sankt Etienne here and start off against FC Copenhagen. Very, very tough job for us to start with. So I'm going to put in another training match. One here, maybe one down here. Yeah, just one here, I think. And we're going to pick, let's see. Similar. Uh, what can we get? Yeah, I'm going to go for um, Lugwitz. We still get an income from that, so that's good. Hopefully, they'll agree. And they did. Valdemar Ibsen, talent, stubbed his toe. Uh, still 17 years old, so quite young, but not the most promising stats all around. So, yeah, maybe he won't make it either. Uh, let's see. Um, transfers introduction. We're going to have a look at the um, uh, finances. So we start with. A total of uh, 45 uh, million Danish kroners and a transfer budget of uh, 4.7 million and wage budget, budget of uh, 2.5 currently at 2.3 and committed spending is 2.5 already so yeah so uh, mm, we're going to have to make some money somehow sell some players or perhaps just do well enough in the league for us to make some money. Uh, Oliver Christensen is out with food poisoning, so that's disgusting. And Mikkel Hüldor Bruce is here for running fast, I think. Uh, training reports is in. Jan Skjelvik is slagging off. I'm just going to warn him. Uh, he tries his best. Appreciate more support instead of criticism. Well, mm, he's just a loney. I can be harsh on him. Okay, he's not. He's he's not agreeing with me. So that's so good. And now is the time for Ludgwitz. I uh, just have gonna have a look. Some of them are quite tired. Uh, Moses Upondo is going to get his turn. Um, Oliver Christensen maybe. 
you just switch on. Oh, he had the food poisoning, so he's not going to aggravate his injury anyway. Might as well just try him off. Um, yeah, I think it's good. They'll do fine. Hopefully we won't pick up too many injuries. We might just pick for television. Quite a whole bunch here. That's good. And we lost. Um, yeah, not too good stats either. So, uh, but then again, they're quite a decent team. So, not too worrying. But of course, a win would have been nice. Onward to the Duisburg match. And just what, three days apart? First scouts reports have come in. Marvin Schwebe from Brandy, the Danish side. Um, no, I'm not going to use my energy on him. We have quite enough keepers. Ian Smith from Norshipping. I'm going to keep scouting him. And yeah, we'll just scout this guy also. Um, let's see. Duisburg match. Oh, Kingsley Madu out for three weeks with pulled ankle ligaments. That's not so good. We d we're not. We don't have a lot of uh, left backs. Uh, Jule Andersen can fit in, and Oliver Lund can also. But they are not ideal. Oh wait, we have the Shelvik dude. Yeah, okay, he can do it. Okay, so that's good. And she has promises also. I mean, he's not uh, going to be <laughs> the best in the world on that position, but I mean, he can tackle, he can mark, pass the ball, cross the ball. So, like, I mean, he's, yeah, we can use him in an emergency. And Duisburg were defeated. Uh, we won two to one. That's good. That's very good. And now we're just one game away from the league premiere against FC Copenhagen. That's going to be absolutely terrifying. As they always beat or we in real life and mostly also in FM so I'm just going to put a lot of the first team players available for reserve matches so they can keep their fitness up um, Jonas Vin from FC Copenhagen sold to Tottenham Hotspur. He's quite good in real life. But he's also quite injured in real life. Or maybe this would he would be fit around this this uh, this time, but as you all know, the coronavirus is currently prohibiting all sorts of sports at the moment including football so haven't seen him play for a while uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah, so these are a bunch of uh, feeder clubs uh, on Funen, where once is placed. Nesby, uh, Marine Lust, Sønderseg and BBB, also all sorts of uh, Odense clubs. And we have a lot of other affiliate clubs, as you can see here. Small, most of them quite small clubs. Uh, and if they have some talented youth players, they are going to uh, be put in OB's uh, youth ranks and given a chance to develop into decent enough players to play on the in the first tier in Denmark. Um, yeah, so that's the idea, uh, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And we have uh, contracts that's expiring in the end of the year. So, Jeppe Tvesko, he's an important player, we're going to sign him. Uh, just gonna do that at the moment. Important player, yeah, I think that's quite fair. Big pay rise, if I can avoid that, I will. That's good, let's see what he wants. Uh, existing contract, so he gets a 100k and okay so we're going to give him three years <laughs> minimum and i'm just going to slightly increase his value i mean which uh, actually i'm just going to use existing contract extend the period i hate yearly wage rises so just please don't Give me those and other things is fine and increase the wage. Uh, let's see how he likes that. Okay, so not too happy, but I think we can work with this. So he wants 150k. He's worth it. He's definitely worth it. So I'm going to give it to him. I'm just hoping we can maybe just push him a bit down, just a tiny bit. So how about 130k? God damn. Okay. Well, there's a year, so we we're still going to to catch him, I think. But uh, I'm just going to yeah, I'm just going to uh, let these go already. Uh, yeah, I'm going to release those those guys. Jakob Barrett in real life. He's leaving uh, this summer, so uh, if we can keep him, that would be good. He's important player. That's fair, I think. Finalize. Okay, he's okay with that. And his existing contract is what now? Okay, so he wants a big, big pay rise. He's still worth it, and he wants a setup clause also. So I'm just going to go for perhaps 80k for starters, and uh, what's his value? Jakob, what's your value? 4 million. So... Uh, got lost now. 4 million, so if we can get going to trying to get this one out okay good good uh, how about yeah 87 okay how about 95 okay that's good thank you Yago. very good very good case let me do work permit I don't care uh, Emil Damgo. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy from Lidl. Uh, Twenty-year-old. Back. Where'd you come? I'm still not there. Just gonna keep scouting. We don't have anything else. Important. Oh, he looks. He looks interesting. And expensive. Just gonna scout him anyway. Uh, our mobile going to 
Villarreal, it looks like. Yablonich, accept friendly proposal. Oh, that's n oh, God. I think that's going to be too cramped. I don't want tired, destroyed players. I think they need, yeah, I'm just going to uh, cancel that one. Yablonich, sorry, bro. Nice work here. What did he do? Pulled his groin. Okay. Ryan Johnson, tight groin. Okay. Uh, collective bonuses. Let's see how much of an impact. Okay, so fairly decent. We'll just go for normal. And training surf matches. Uh, just all these guys. Uh, Tours. Marco type tour. Don't attend the danger. All of you guys, you can just go for the under 19s, and the rest of you will rest you. Janus, Tychron also, a lot of Tychrons, I don't know what they're doing. Mikkel Steinrock with offers, Mikkel, you can just go, we, we won't use you, so just, you know. Jakob Bert accepted new contract. Very good. Very, very good indeed. Mikkel Hülikov with four goals in the under 19s. And they won't tell 10 to nothing. That's. That's. Oof. That's a big win. Here we go. Final training match for. Oh, we won. Two to one. Uh, that's good. That's promising. And now we can start to take a look at the league. This is the league. 14 teams. Uh, it's going to be reduced to 12 until next until next season. Um, and uh, the top six, they all qualify for the uh, championship uh, phase. Um, where they play each other again and uh, the two the the bottom tier they get uh, put into two separate relegation groups where they battle for relegation and a chance to play for Europe for the best teams of those and uh, of course we want to be in the top tier uh, more money and security and a chance to to play against the best and qualify for Europe. I can't remember season period. So we're we're projected to finish sixth. I think that's quite fair. Uh, FC Co is going to win. Midland second, one B third, AGF and OB. The thing about Danish football is maybe with the exception of these two you can't really know for sure especially in this game uh, sometimes it's all turned around but uh, it looks quite quite reasonable maybe one of these two will drop out and if in Washington or yeah sometimes <laughs> these will sneak into the top six as well so it's it's hard to tell but this is this is a, a fairly decent guess on how uh, this, this season will will finish 
uh, what I wanted to check was the rules. It's the championship group. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, what about Europe? Where is it? Europe, Europe, Europe. So we'll have to go into the position stages, preliminary phase, championship group. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, fourth place will be for Europe. So okay, that doesn't seem too far off. Maybe we can do it in this season. Not sure. Depends on the start we get. Will be squad to be decided. Just auto select, I guess. Just have a look if we forgot something important. So yeah, the registration rules is uh, we have to have four minimum players trained in OB uh, for three years before uh, they turn 21, and we have to have 12 play. Uh, I mean, uh, eight players minimum trained in Denmark also before 21 three years. Uh, that's that's the just a fit and as you can see we do have four players homegrown Kasper Larsen, Jakob Barrett, Jens Jakob Tomasen and uh, where the last one at? Oliver Christensen and he's under 21 so actually we don't have to register him doesn't matter we have enough players and they're all quite young, so yeah. Let's see how we get on. Transfer story leaked about Oliver Anderson. Well, Oliver Anderson, we don't care about you. Uh, keep scouring. Oh, he's quite old, uh, so maybe that's not that interesting. But no, we don't. We don't want you retirement guys. Um Janus Kakman of course is going to be your captain, Yevi uh, vice captain. King Sabadoo is starting to start his rehabilitation phase. Nikhil Hemmingsen is our director of football. He's also a former OB uh, employee and player. So uh, he's a favorite at the club, but his stats in the game are not too impressive. But yeah, that's football manager sometimes. And now we are closing in on the premiere. I am quite excited how this will go. FC Midland started by crushing SPR 4 0. Yeah. So, uh, oh, Ryan, we are very disappointed with you. And Yang was also quite disappointed with you because you are the captain and you have to be a good example. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Difficult <laughs> FC Copenhagen challenge. We're at home, and even though we're 4.0 at end odds, so yeah. Damien Doy, he's old, but he's, he's damn good. He's damn good. As you can see, he scores a lot of goals for FC Copenhagen, even though he's an old man. And I'm sure he will do the same today. He will come to haunt me in the game. Hopefully, we can do something about them. We are at home, so there is hope. And sometimes the game does not understand how badly once a group crumbles under the pressure of playing against FC Copenhagen. So there is a chance that we just might 
win this one but I'm going to stay pessimistic for now I want to see the boys play well before I start even even just getting my hopes a bit up I'm going to clear the bench just uh, clear subs because they had all the extra subs from their training matches uh, and pick subs um, let's see Kingsley Medu we don't need you we have Jan Skelvik on the left back so not really needing you at the moment Daniel Obeka he can play the central defense and Odwodon he can do the right back maybe I should look for another right back actually but the transfer window is still open so there's time for that Mart Lida starts in Isam Jabali do 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 Miss Fakia on the screen yeah I think this is, this is good for now this is the team we're going for uh, oh I want it Pondo I'll try with you Thrandason see how that goes so here we are as you can see they start in a 442 as they do in real life Victor Fischer, Rasmus Falk, former Odense Boy Club uh, player, very good. Damon Doy, Carlos Sega, very good players. Annoyingly good. So, I'm going to go passionate and say, come on lads, show me what you can do. And no one gave a shit. So I'm going to say, I have faith in you. And that gets some response, so that's good. Yeah, uh, a physician. I'm going to ask assistant, and yeah, it's a special day. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, of course we can. And uh, okay. Okay, this is quite longer than I expected. Uh, yeah, he makes us proud. Uh, I certainly trust him. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll just just pull it down one notch in terms of speed. Isam Jabali. Oh. And if the Copenhagen is on the ball and uh, they play up the field, Rasmus Falk with out to Bartolic and gets to a cross and FC Copenhagen is in the lead two minutes into the match and that is really annoying. I'm just going to put this down a notch and I'm going to shout at them and demand more. <sighs> yeah, so this is good. This is if anything, it's realistic. So that's good. Here we go. Barrett Lawson on the left hand side with a cross. And FC Copenhagen tried to counter, but we still recover the ball. Go on. Ah, oh, Matt Leader. You should have done better, mate. No goal for us. Dominating the stats, but trailing on the scoreboard. I'm going to say, get creative. Yeah. They're all very inspired. Very inspiring words. You should you should use your inspiration to play better. Yeah. yeah. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. So uh, I'm just going to say there's a lot more to come from you and you and you. Uh, look at the performance ratings. Jakob Barrett is having a nightmare. <sighs> Not sure what I can do. Maybe go higher tempo. 
and maybe wider and push a bit up more pressing come on come on away we can do this a long ball from Kasper Larsen and it's lost to FC Copenhagen Pierre Bengtsson to Pierre Biel and James Starkman on the ball long ball for Jibali and he missed it so it's yeah highlight continues and Disappointing. Going to say get creative again. They appear to be inspired. Then Jakob Tomason on the ball. Plays it to Barrett. Barrett with a cross. Ah, another miss, big miss for the boys. We see Copenhagen playing the ball short and we try to press high on the pitch, but they play themselves out of it and they get a cross in and Damien Doy he scored just as predicted I'm going to do something against these guys I'm going to push Yeva up I think and we're going to put in another attacker uh, which one has been the power? The poorest has been Adon. So, you're out. Sander Svensson is in. And we're going to play three attackers. And he's going to switch with him. He's going to go for the advanced one. And he's going to be the target man support. Janus is going to switch to box to box and Jebe will just be the ball winning defender. Yeah. We won't get anything done anyways with three defenders. They're kind of wasted. So we'll just push up and hope for the best. Maybe we'll upset them. Jan Skjelvik, long ball, it's recovered by Darkman, and long ball against Svensson, oh. which he managed to miss, just like all the other chances we had this game. Clear cut chances to zero goals, they had one, and they scored two. Feels like real life, so that's a plus. We still have one sub, but I don't see the point in changing anyone. And we score gold, but it's off side. So we start the season <laughs> by losing two to nothing against FC Copenhagen. Disappointing. The stats were okay, but I mean, I'm just going to say I'm not happy because I'm not happy. Two to nothing defeat at home is not good. I'm going to send assistant. Have fun, Henrik Hansen, explaining that. Next game is against against Lyngby. We should definitely be able to win against Lyngby. We should definitely be able to get a win against Lyngby. And Lyngby, they drew their first match against Ulbog. Nil nil. So, yeah.
Axel Schmidt Petersen. I know he can he can play decent, but we're not really in need of a of a left back, so I'm going to leave him. Instead, I'm going to search for another right back of sorts. Um, let's just see what we can find here. There's Oscar Bua in Wolves. Going to scout him. And uh, like Harlst. these guys and I'm going to edit search I'm going to try for expired contracts maybe we'll spot someone we know maybe we won't know him but he looked decent um, yeah so not really any guys on free transfer that look promising or familiar Then we're going to check for some loanies. Sort by clubs. Brentford, Cold Silver. Pen uh, Johnson. Okay, so <laughs> that's slim piggings. Get scout report. And last resort is the uh, listed. Just scouting these guys. <laughs> So apparently we have signed Oliver Andersen on a free transfer from Lyngby. It's not really good. Um, not really sure what to do about that right back situation. Hmm. I know we have four point five million in the bank but I mean what 
can we really get with that? That's pure quality and won't just decline in a season or two. I'll have a look if we won't find any other alternatives, but yeah, if I can do it without spending money, I would be delighted. I'll put these guys available for next on the 19th month. Midland want Anders Klinge. <sighs> yeah, he always looked decent, but in the end, he rarely develops into something useful. So if they really want him, they can take him, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste my time on that. So this is the most likely replacement on the left back. I mean right back, that's that's not very good. That's not very good at all. And Ryan Johnson is out for 10 to 13 days. So that is quite horrific, actually. That is really bad. Ian Smith, you just might be what we need, but are you too expensive? That's the question. Just going to add to shortlist for now. FC Copenhagen drew against AGF. So that just means that we're quite bad. That's that's very not very worrying at all. Not very worrying at all. Mm. So we're actually favorites for this one, and we should be. Ticket sales. Season tickets. 1,750. Hmm. Another possibility in order to find a Right back could be go hunting in the the good clubs with uh, good talent systems like FC Norseland. Maybe we'll have a look at their B team. Maybe they have some undiscovered talent that we can pounce on and make use of for our own benefit. Just scout them. going to go into the the 19 squad mm. just just scout him the Achilles seal with this system is that it can be quite hard to find the the right backs for the system because a lot of the backs in the game are quite defensive and the wing backs have to be quite offensive in order for this system to work so that's why sometimes 
a winger can do the job. And in terms of wingers, we have Skolus Clue. But he has a tackling of four, so marking of four also. Not very ideal. Um, yeah. So I would prefer if we could find someone that could help us with our little problem on the right back. I guess Oliver Lund is going to take over here. I know he's right footed and left footed also. Quite horrific uh, training though. Uh, I'm just going to give him a little warning. Um, assist tied to a Magnuson is also a right back. So, yeah. He's the backup backup, I think. But we'll put him in the team either way. Maybe we'll get in a situation where we need his services. So yeah, we're going to keep the shape from last game, even though we had some absolute nightmares. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go go for glory either way. Going to go aggressive and expecting a much better performance tonight. Okay, they seem motivated. Then fucking show me. Free kick and we're in the lead. Isam Jabali with a header from across by Janus Dragman. That's how we want it. On a set piece. Not bad. And Jakob Barrett extends the lead. Two to nothing. Twelve minutes in. Okay. This is this is good so far. And Lungby with their chance close to equalizing hitting the woodwork but we won't panic we'll just keep our course hopefully we'll get a few more goals before halftime uh, bad pass from Thranderson uh, we recovered the ball though in Starkman yeah Jacob Tomason with the ball out to Barrett another Oh, another goal from Jakob. Very good. Three to nothing. Twenty-six minutes in. This is good. We like this. <sighs> okay. Now we can. Now we can breathe. We should definitely win this one. <laughs> Otherwise, I might just rage quit. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, passionate. No, no, no. I'm going to go assertive and keep going should not let these buttholes into the game unless we absolutely have to and we don't so this is good um i will learn he's doing decent enough i'm just going to maybe it's a bit too early to put in the talents just keep it going for now yeah it's dark man free kick Oish. Casper Larsen, I think it was, with a decent header. Now I think we can make use of some of the talents. Taito Magnusson is going to try his best of playing a complete wing back on the right hand side. Yeah, and uh, Moses is going in for Thranderson. And Sander Svensson is going in for Martia. All three subs used. Lugby, are they going to score? 
not at this moment at least Isam Jabali with the ball good ball and penalty Jakob Barrett oh had the chance for completing his hat track as a wing back that would have been something else but he missed if there's any game to miss a penalty this would definitely be it I'm not worried about that Still three to nothing. They try to shift formations, but not quite working. That's a good, good win. Praises all around and team talk. Pow! Fifth place. Now we're talking. Okay, so now we know we can score goals, and we can also win games. So that's good. Thomas and impresses for me with two assists. Yes, Jakob, you're very good. Onward to next game. It's against Bonby away. And Bonby, uh, they draw true one and one one. Who did they win against? Hobo. And drew against FCK. Jakob Barrett is now a top scorer. Quite decent amount of players in Team of the Week. Now the media trying to put rumors against us losing Yevichesko because we failed to sign him. But we still, we can still make it and we will in time. Is your video in sign, Anders Klöni? You know, you know what? Congratulations to the both of you. We hope you will be very happy. I would like to see him get just one one start appearance for FC Midtjylland. I, I I don't think that's going to happen. Speaking of FC Midtjylland, they also a good uh, they have a good youth system. So we're also trying to go poach some of their talents on the right back. Uh, I'm just going to scout this this dude, Dion Kules. Team Oliver Olsen. Do they have any other right backs? Not really. Sunday or day. Scout this guy also. And on the nineteenth. A lot of great players. Uh, yes, me, Fiend, for me. And that's that's it, I think. Go scout this guy also. Daniel Broughton. No, joke. Is he joining us? It's because 
this mosh. Just going to get an update on our little uh, little feller. Where did he go? Short list. Ian Smith. So I think it's going to be expensive to get him, but it would be good for some competition on the right wing back. Hasn't done anything in 16 games though. No goals, no assists. He's good technique. Good crossing. Passing, good. Acceleration. Okay, we'll, we'll try. We'll have a go. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we'll just go for it. How about 2.25? Yeah, okay, that's not going to happen ever. We can go 3 million, 7 million. Go 3.5. Yeah, you can get 14% basically. Uh, after league appearances, 50 games and uh, minimum league goals, 50 goals. So you can have, if he scores 50 league goals, you can have 2 million. Fuck it, you can have 5 million. It doesn't matter, we're going to have him. And you can have a few a million if he plays 50 games. This is the offer. Yeah, they didn't take, take that. So that's pretty fucking annoying. Uh, what about the... Um, what about these dudes? Yeah, okay, they have quite... going to be able to get those. Maybe I should sign some more uh, scouts. Recruitment team, scout, not employed. This would be good. Scout full time. We'll take you. And I'll take you, John Carroll. Yeah. Mm. He's really expensive. That's not going to happen. Yeah, we'll take this guy as well. Good. Maybe they'll get us some something.
oh my god Emmanuel Sabri with hat trick but still lost to Rana's FC that's that's tough man Ryan Johnson he's fit again but still on defense As we get into the season, we might start loaning some of the guys out. Maybe they'll succeed other places and come back as hot prospects, but most likely they won't. And we'll just save some wage money. Wage money! Here we go. Away match against Bundwyf. Expect to win tonight. They didn't react to that at all. Here you go. Let's go, Winston. And when we with a goal kick and we start to recover the ball, a good cross. Oh, I have the post here. Not too good to miss that one but good that we get some chances at least just going to see demand more here just make sure we stay in the fight we have a free kick Janus Darkman good cross and Thrandason scores the goal very good Belasen with the assist. Very nice. One up against Brunby away. Good start here. Kasper Belasen, long ball. That's not very clever. Uh, Brunby with the ball here. Passing it around. Back to defense. Upfield. And we recover. But only for us to lose it again. And cross here. And Simon Tipling with the goal. God damn it. Going to demand more. Hopefully, we can bounce back here. Marvin Schreber with the ball. Anthony Jung, Maxi, and Kevin Mensa gets the ball here. Simon Hedlund out on the right hand side. And let's lean into Simon Hedlund. We recover the ball and throw the ball away because that's what we do. Jakob Barrett with tackle. On the yellow card, just make me shit my pants here. Isam Jabali, oh, god damn it, misses the chance. Jakob Barrett with the corner, and it goes to nothing. Bit of dominance here, we're doing okay on the stats. Oh, come on, come on, get the ball, get the ball, press it. Oh, god damn it. Oliver Christensen, important save here. Kasper Larsen, long ball, threw it away once again. Isam Jabali. Matlida has done absolutely nothing in, what, three games now? He's still new, but I don't know, man. Just going to go aggressive to get them all fired up. Um, Casper, man. Tim Parsi. Mm. Maybe you'll just. Maybe you'll just. Uh, Short sure, passing for you, mate. Yeah, just leave it to Yebe and the other boys. Uh, Oliver Lund, you're doing decent on the right. Complete right back. We're not doing too good in the middle. 
Ik heb strak mijn en uh, ik check op de meten. Not too good readings. Gonna give them some more time here. Yeah. And Jacob, you're coming off. Moses Upandu, you're going in. And going going to put Sander Svensson in also. And we're going to risk Ryan Johnson here. Higher tempo, more wide, a bit higher, I think we can do. Or maybe we should go, yeah, I'm going to go for this. Come on, we can win this. Not too far away. Very attacking the last five minutes here. Come on. Do it. Highlight. Oh, not that highlight. <sighs> okay, highlight continues. Send the Svensson running with the ball here. Moses Upando. All right, Johnson. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so close. Ugh. Please just don't lose it now. Is it is it another chance? Really? Oh, ref. Are we going to do it? Yes, Jacob. I mean, Jacob Strabant. Oh, God. All right. One all. You weren't lucky. I think they did decent actually. Send assistance. That puts us just short of sixth place. So I'm still still worried about what we're going to do on that goddamn right back. So he's transfer listed. For <laughs> twenty two million. I mean Maybe we'll just go searching for players. And we'll just go maybe just in our See what we can find here. I know he's he should be a prospect of some sort. Ah, uh, 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 it's difficult, man. There's not a lot of options that are too obvious at the moment. Mounts and boom.
could also just settle on Oliver Lund as the backup. He did okay, but I mean, he's also the backup for the central defenders. So, I mean, we could get in a sticky situation with that. Next, next game is uh, SPR AFB. Yeah, just just take it. What you? Give me, give me some. Okay. Did we give him a? <sighs> okay, that's. I need to change that. Stuff. shouldn't do this uh, I shouldn't do this just give me all of it This is good. That's a waste of money. Nicolas Stuyo is maybe going to Arsenal, he's also quite decent. Way beyond our financial pull, so that's pretty annoying. Maybe we should go look in Sweden. Let's just have a look. Yeah, nine million. That's never going to happen. Uh, God damn it. This is going to annoy me for some time. Um, I can just feel it. Just take all of them. Keep them fit. Keep them fit. Emil Christensen, are you really something to to look at? Just offer trial then if he's interesting. We'll find out. Alright, SPS favorites for the game by a small margin.
maybe this is the game where Ryan Johnson makes his comeback in the starting 11. I think it is. So we can get a more offensive expression from the players on the field. leader gets the chance once again if he doesn't provide anything this match I'm going to have a word with him I think or maybe just drop him SPR with a cross in and goes to go kick for us Janus Tagman with a cross and Vito Maunone catches the ball tries to kick it out and SPR keeps possession here they play it around quite nicely and goes out to Andy Yembe here with a ball back uh, Isam Jabali catches it and he, he manages to miss that how I do not know but he does it anyway that is horrific uh Jens Dragman. Jens Jakob to Mason with a good long long shot. He's good for that in reality as well. Jens Dragman, ball through. Uh, cross in. Mart Leder with a goal. There he was. He just needed a bit of encouragement from me. <laughs> Even though he didn't know. But we sh don't tell anyone. All right, we're one up, away from home. This is quite good. Oh, that's quite a defensive lineup, and whoosh, almost an equalizer from Espia. Kasper Larsen to Isam Jabali, the misser. Jan Jakob Thomason with a weird, weird kind of shot on goal, and Ryan Johnson. <laughs> that wasn't just. <laughs> He just broke on his comeback to the starting a living. God damn it, man. So, this is weird. On to the dressing room, I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Don't get complacent. That's the thing I'm going for. Do not get complacent against these defensive a holes. Jakob Barrett is having a lesser good game, you might say. But after all, he is a top scorer, so we'll keep it on for now. Jan Starkman with a good yellow card, just as in reality good for that as well and we look to have a few changes in a moment here if we won't get yeah ref make it no god damn it so SPL with the equalizer and we have to react somehow Jakob Barrett I can't I can't deal with you anymore um Sorry, mate. I am going for. I am subbing off uh, Alexander Yul to go three in offense. And yeah, uh, Janus Tagman, he can drop down a bit, go to defend. Um. And the Svensson is going to play advanced for it. And Mark Leader is going to play support target man. Yeah. Higher tempo, more wide. And push on here. More pressing. 
that's how we're going to win it. Let's go, guys. We can win this. I'm going to risk it. I want this win. I can feel it. It's so it's so close. Come on. Come on. Take it. Give me. Uh, another draw. Unless. Oof. No. Another draw. But two draws. Two games away from home. I can settle for that. Uh, I'm just going to criticize them a bit. So they won't get too complacent. And he's out for eight weeks. That is. God damn. This game sometimes. Okay, so we definitely need some some sort of replacement. I could just put holes down there. Yeah, I think unless I can sell him, but then we still would need to go out and find a suitable I think we'll we'll keep keep the money on our hand for now and just hope we can put through. Maybe we'll come across some cheap or even free opportunity. There's a lot of old guys, that's pretty annoying. As we won't be able to use them for more than a half a season and then they will retire. And this is the Danish Cup with all the amateur teams and a few of the teams from second division. Actually, one, two, uh, a few from the uh, first division as well. Keep in mind, the first division is not our league. goes Superliga, Nordic Red Liga, which is the first division, and second division, and Denmark CA, but that's not in the game, so. Alright, so we only lost one game, but we also only won one game. Next up, we're at home against Ranas FC, who are currently sitting fourth but just two points clear of us. So, should be tight, should be possible for both the win and a loss. But we will do everything we can to get the win. We need to start pulling ahead if we need to, if we, if we should get the top six. I was wondering if we should start offering some of these talents out on loans. I'm just going to do that to some of these dudes here. Up to clubs for loan. Uh, 
let's see here. They won't pay any money. That's pretty annoying. Why won't they do that? That was kind of dead ear. Atmospheric being sold, and we get 2.2 .2 million. That's not that's not so bad. How are the finances looking? So we already lost 10 million. That's not too good. 5.3 transfer budget now. Still won't make too much of a difference. Unfortunately, maybe we should just focus on the, um, where is it now, scouting, want some of the good packs, the here we go, no, oh here we go, play search, uh, I want Scandinavia pack, Denmark pack. Yeah. Just going to load these guys out. Even though we won't get paid, which is pretty annoying. So we're just going to play. Um, these two games Ranas and FC Nordsland and we're going to stop for today oh there was a B team match uh, get these guys fully fit just going to do this and sort them out as I need them Actually, I should just add the rest of the guys also. As it's after the game, we're going to play now. Oliver Lund is back in. The starting 11. And Coach Clue takes up the place on the bench for the right back. And that means there's a place for another midfielder-ish type. And that person is going to be mess for K, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go aggressive, expecting to win. Faith in the boys. Tunnel. Play match. Let's go. Let's get it. The Mark Moore. Let's get a good start here. Long ball. Alio Christensen picks it up. He doesn't fuck up. That's good. And Jacob Thomason here. With a cross to Oliver Lund. And uh, Mark Leader with a header. Second goal. So Second consecutive goal, also. 
and Kelly with a quite a remarkable long shot who puts them even even though we are dominating on stats we're going to encourage the boys and uh, didn't do too much unfortunately and Anas is starting to pull back on the demand more let's get it let's get it let's get it on Jakob Barrett here with a cross Alexander you with Jabali oh what a weird goal Barrett with the throw in back to Barrett and Jabali with the header on the bar and then in amazing absolutely amazing hopefully we can get to half time with that result and we can go into the dressing room assertive and keep it up a uh, lot more to come a lot more to come a lot more to come go into tactics here At least we're leading, but like except from the goals, it's not too encouraging, unfortunately. Demand more. Stats are pretty even. Uh, Lau isn't with a cross from the corner, but goes to goal kick for us. I can see they gone for the sort of the same. Only three up top and the the wing backs up at the midfield. Going to demand more and make a few changes. Um going to pull Darkman back for security. And who is tired? No one really is. I'm just going to make sure we don't get anyone sent off here. I think this is good. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh. We pick it up. I will learn to Jabali. Oh, no, he loses it. Benny means Dugger runs up the field. Oh. Jabali here. Mad leader, Opando. Opando into Jabali, and is it offside? It isn't. Third goal of the season for Isam Jabali, the complete forward. Very comforting. Now I'm going to do to let Daniel Obakir get his his debut for the first team, and I'm going to let uh, Jan Skelvik get in also I think or maybe Masfrakia yeah I'll pick Masfrakia because he's a homegrown talent and Jan Skerrick is just a loney so he can run on the bench for all I care <coughs> Oliver Lund throw in Isam Jibali Mad leader oh that's a weird situation but it ends 3-1 I think it's safe to say now in our favor which puts us in a spot for third place, at least from for the moment. Very good. Passionate. Well done. Good win. Very good. Very good. It's empty Bali. Gets the praise. And now, the last game of today. Obey against FC Norseland. On away. The thing about uh, playing FC Norseland away is that uh, on Ride to Dream Park they have uh, they have the yeah synthetic new type soft, so they have a, a not not real football pitch, and some football players are quite annoyed with it. They get a terrible pitch rating every season 
along with uh, Silkeborg, who has the same system. They also have. Uh, where is the. Right here, use park, of course. They also have the synthetic new type. Uh, so, yeah, that's quite controversial, at least in Denmark. But the thing is that in Denmark, when they play in uh, in the winter months, uh, the pitches can get, let's just say, not quite as good in the summer. And at least, even though the synthetic fields is maybe a bit odd playing on for professional football players, at least there's a pitch to play on in the winter months. So it's not all bad, but a lot of players are criticizing it and thinking it's, it's a shame. So Ian Smith are maybe going to Melmö. So if they can get him for 4.2, why can't I? Let's just try to match that off. Okay. Uh, still don't think we won't get him though. Players. So let's just have a look see here. With the recommended ones. Okay, we have Team Kircher here. German we don't have the stats on him though so we if we bought him we would buy him without knowing anything and with our budget that is not the way to go so Stephen Garden, man. Mm, yeah, I don't think we can afford you either, bro. Ian, Ian, Ian. Just after 50 big games, you can have 2 million. Hmm? Okay, they want that. Uh, did it say 4.5 transfer budget 5.3 okay interesting start negotiations regular starter important players mm. yeah I think that's maybe not this one uh, will improve coaching team pay rise I'm just going to So definitely pay rise then. Okay. I can see we already on a level where the wages are going to be difficult. Unless I give him some room here. Which can't be a lot. Okay, that helped a lot, actually. Uh, what did he want? 7.5, okay. Yearly wage rise, not happening. He want sell or close, that's okay. Uh, we'll just say 50 million, that's, that should do it. And wage budget, how many wage? Yeah. He wants 165. 107k see what he says to that he's probably not happy okay could be worse could be worse so how about 122k okay now he's pissed what does he want 150 how about 42 okay he'll take it it's also a lot of money, but 
at least it'll give us some quality on the right complete right right back and he just went to memory so that was a complete waste of time that's very good thank you for that dickhead <coughs> What should we do? What should we do? Not sure. Hopefully some loanies will be available. That should get us through the season. A cheap or maybe three three loney, that would be very good for us. Alright, here we go. Last game of the day. FC Norshilan. Eleventh place us fourth place so that should give us the edge but I've played some matches against FC Norshilan in this game where they just they just had the some kind of tactic that just countered mine every single time and that is quite annoying and something you find out along the way Ben Johnson. So, how about a loan offer, Ben? 157. Just, just, I just, I need some security on that front. I really do. Okay, so we are favorites going into this game. Um, just gonna change over here for Marco Lund. He's quite better. At least for the moment. Team is looking good. All fit. So we're just going to dive in here. Hopefully we'll get a another win. Faith in the boys. Head out. First half. Let's get it on. Start demanding. Free kick here. Yeah, it was Oh, Casper Larsen on the post. That was a dramatic way to start the game. Unfortunately, no goal for us. Ibrahim Sadiq with the corner and Oliver Christensen. Thankfully, catches it. Casper Larsen here. Passes it out. Jakob Barrett. Loses it to Master Kurgusen. Thranderson. Uh, it's battle here in the middle. Ibrahim Sadiq out to Chikosen. And it's in for Sadiq. And Bubu Conte scores his first goal of the season. It's not quite deserved, I think. But that's football for you. Come on, Obi. We can do this. We're definitely the better team. And puts us to half time. Trailing. One goal. We're gonna go aggressive. Expecting much better things from the boys. I'm already going to go higher tempo and wider. Maybe even higher pressing here. We can do this. Madlida is not playing too well. I thought I saw 
6.4 but changed now to 6.6 .6. nothing's happening and I am getting nervous and annoyed with zero progress so I'm going to go loco here with three attackers oh I wasn't supposed to have it lead in the middle here with the target man support and center Svensson with advanced forward attack uh, screw that more wide push up urgent extremely urgent gonna go get stuck in tighter marking offside trap really aggressive here should I make another sub though I'm going to go Tolls Clue for uh, Oliver Lund. Maybe he'll get some offensive qualities in the team that we could that could get us to win or to draw. Is oh, of course. So how long did you spend on the field here, Moses? 7 minutes. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. I'm gonna go do, do, do box to box. Just do something. Do something. This is a stupid game to lose. And of course we're losing it. Uh, well. not the ideal way to end the episode but that's how it is so we got two losses two wins and two draws so pretty mediocre but it looks like we're headed in the right direction at least for now um don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, to uh, Twitch channel here and uh, also uh, my YouTube uh, channel called uh, Gensball. Um, yeah, subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.